Hi everyone, welcome to wealthspoon.com and today we are going to see the startup error message called your demonstration period has expired from net support. Usually this error occurs if there is some corrupted file in the system or there is some changes in the setting or you may be installed the trial version and the trial version might expire. Okay, let's see how to get rid of this error message on startup. So the first solution is rename the SVR web ui dot ex file there this is one of the files that associated with the error message so by removing this file we'll get rid of this error message your demonstration period has expired on startup okay so first open your explorer go to uh, c and make sure you have enabled the hidden items and then uh, click on program data and search for reg id 1991-06.com.microsoft folder open it then you will see an svr web ui dot extension folder okay so what you have to do is just right click on it and rename it i am just adding some symbols here So now I have renamed it. Okay, now reboot your system. If you see the error message again, then the second solution is delete the entire folder. That is the reg id 1993-06.com.microsoft folder. Delete it entirely. Okay, go to the program data and check on this file. Just delete it. Okay, it will ask for administrator permission. Click continue. And the file will be deleted successfully. So the third fix is check the startup tab and disable any program related to net support. So press Ctrl Shift Escape. The task manager window will open. So click on the startup and see if there is any application related to network. Okay, here there is no application related to net support. But if you find any application related to net support, then you have to disable it right away. And the fourth step is disable non Microsoft startup programs as well. So again, go to the task manager and here I'm going to disable the Microsoft Edge. So it is enabled. Click on it and click disable. And the Microsoft team it is in the startup setting. So I'm going to tap on it and disable it. So now close your task manager. So now the final step, step is you need to repair the corrupted files. So for that you have to uh, run SFC scan from your command prompt. So just type CMD from your search. And right click and run as administrator. Then click as an user account control. In the command prompt type sfc slash scan now and press enter so the system will begin the uh, scan so this process will take some time to verify the uh, file so wait until the verification to complete uh, it will take about 20 to 30 minutes and finally it is completed and uh, we will get the error here like uh, windows resource protection found current files and successfully repaired them so that's all guys uh, after completing the final step just restart your system and you will see the error is uh, eliminated i hope you like this video thank you for watching until then bye bye wealthpaint.com